Hi, my name is Evair Galardo, and I will present my capstone project, problem number one, the road of the US digital dollar. So I appreciate your time and let's start the presentation. Thank you. Well, the road of uh, to uh, US digital dollar, it's a kind of uh, subject that many countries are talking about in, in US too. The US digital dollar is a very important issue for, for the government and they are analyzing and studying a long time already. And uh, if we compare the internet revolution that we had in, in the beginning of the 90s, that everybody starts to put everything in the digital mode, like everything that was analog became digital when the internet came in our lives, our mail, our finances, uh, even the normal banks, it's all digital. In 2008, we have the blockchain revolution with the Bitcoin coming and the companies starts to looking a way to tokenize and digitalize money. And 2021 is the year of the fintech company. Fintech companies starts to booming with their platforms and the way that they treat money and the way that the payment system starts to to go everywhere so when the cellular networks starts to be popular for the world then we have in our hands everything digitalized so that's why there is a comparison in between the internet revolution and blockchain revolution. Um, <clears throat> the US dollar, the fiat money, US dollar, is the dominant currency in everywhere you go and in all the world, the US dollar is the most important currency in terms of reserves. So, the U.S. Um, export a lot of fiat money, even today, for countries that are using the dollar itself or they are using like a reserve. So even many big countries, they buy dollar like a first currency for their reserve. So any movement that the government or the currency, the fiat currency dollar makes will be affected millions and millions of people around the world and many countries will be affected. So if you talk about uh, exportation, importation and all this trade that happens in the world, we, we see that the dollar is the dominant currency. So this is a kind of uh, affirmation just to say that anything that the government does about US dollar will affect many central banks and many uh, even fiat currencies around the world and many reserves that can be affected. So in the road of the, the digital, digitalization of the US dollar must be very carefully the decisions and the choices that the government does. So, like I said, um, most foreign exchange reserves are in US dollar. So we have like 62% um, of the reserves in the world are in US dollar. And the second one is Euro, that is just 20%. So, um, when we think about 
digitalization. Uh, a question mark is if the US dollars will keep like the reserve currency of the world. So this is one thing that the central bank, banks and, and the US government must think about. Okay. Well, many countries are analyzing already uh, the CBDC, that means central bank digital currencies. Those, bank, those currencies, CD, CBDCs, are the way that the banks and central banks are saying, seeing the digitalization of the money. So, money has some some characteristics of that it's tradable, it's it's no fungible, it's it's easy to to and transparent to deal. So some characteristics of the money must be inside of the US dollar too. So when we enter in a digital world, we have to be careful to give the money, the digital money, the same characteristics of uh, fiat money. Otherwise, we will be not be adopted. So we can see that the Bitcoin is, is more, more like an asset, digital asset than a digital current. So because there is no so much characteristics of money yet. So the population is not seeing Bitcoin like a digital currency. Of course, there are some niches that are using Bitcoin like a currency, but what I mean is, uh, it's more like a gold than a fiat currency. So that's why the, the dollar, the digital dollar, um, and the survey made in many central banks around the world, so showing that they have to implement a CBDC conceptual and, and uh, must be the same conceptual of cash, money. Only in this way, it will be a successful implementation. And for that, must do something with the US dollar. So all the digitalization goes to tokenization, sorry. Tokenization is when you put a token that is a digital representation of an asset, good, right, or currency with properties sufficient to attest and transfer ownership. What this means? It means that any asset or currency will have a digital key, a digital Mm, uh, code that is unique and just belong to that asset. So uh, tokenization came with uh, crypto. So when you, you want to, to make a tokenization, you have to use a blockchain to make this code, to make this key, to make this code that unique for this asset or for this currency. So technology behind a token is a blockchain. A blockchain is what we are seeing, the technology that is, is booming because the cryptocurrency. So the cryptography uh, technology involved on, on a blockchain is very very strong and this means that you can get an asset or a current and transform it in a code in a key that only the person that has this key 
only the person that has this code can open or can transfer or can um, call the ownership of the, the asset or the currency. So Deloitte affirms that the tokenization of assets refers to the process of issuing a blockchain token, especially a security token, that digitally represents a real tradable asset, in many ways similar to the traditional process of securitization with a modern twist. So when you have a, a, a dollar, uh, an actual uh, bill of dollar, you have a dollar that is the same of the other dollar, but they have a, a serial number down there. So this serial number make these dollars be different from the other, but the value is the same. So the tokenization is almost a serial number, can be a senior serial number too, but it's, it's stronger than that in terms of um, can give you the ownership of the asset and the currency. So that is tokenizing the US dollar. Uh, this is a problem that the government must to, to find out what's the best um blockchain to make the tokens for the us dollar it's not a one main solution is a lot of study and many tests and it's a lot of uh collaboration on that so when the us dollar come up digital us dollar i mean some services in in place right now will be in risk risk to seize or to down a lot like the trade between countries that now using a lot of exchanging companies like brokers and banks and and you pay a lot of fees about that so when you have the digitalization of the us dollar the transactions will be very fast nowadays we we lose like three days four days five days to to make a transfer between currencies and uh, a lot of documentation a lot of authorizations and then with us dollar maybe those companies these middlemen will be like seized uh, some banks fees and products tend to disappear in the digital dollar take place affecting the way the banks deal with the money today services that handle cash in paper like a lot of uh, cars and transportations warehouses money money storage transportation security and vigilance can be affected of course and if you don't know, one of the most important revenue for the US is the exportation of dollars bills. So US now exported like $65.3 billion in 2018, like almost all in $100 bills. So this is a very good business for us too um, how they will replace this money with digital dollar i really don't know but they can they can export two digital dollars in a way that they transfer the tokens instead of dollars bill uh, of course the digital dollar it's one of the most expected transformation that the world is are expecting because US the US always is ahead of 
many countries in terms of technology and research and development and science and and now it's not like that so it seems like the us dollar the digital us dollar is a little bit behind the other countries so some countries like sweden uruguay already working on their CDB, cbdc's china too so uh, bitcoin has been used and this can can be a can be good for the us digital dollars in fact because people are used to to have cryptocurrency in their day, day, day by day and but as soon as we have some cbdc's starting to be using in the world maybe the us dollar doesn't have so much uh, importance or it's behind in terms of value and and the time that they they launch so um, in my point of view the us must run to have the best technology and, and be uh, innovation pioneer too otherwise can be behind other other countries and other currencies too like sweden is already has it is e krona and england is already has some proposal for cbdc too so cambodia is already has his own cbdc and they launched it together with a japanese fintech firm called soramitsu and they are already attending people and they are already doing business in their cbdc currencies so us must be more attention i know we know that the central bank and the actual the government already has a, a program and a study in place is a very actual issue and subject and the government is very is giving a lot of attention and put a lot of efforts to to make the us digital dollar happen so as soon as i think in the end of this year we we can have some some good news and there are some possibilities to to fail this this word is very strong fail because uh i don't think the government will fail maybe some delays on the on the process but i i'd like to point some some failures possibilities that i i thought so if the regulatory is to have that cannot be implemented we know that you the us has been very very tough with cryptocurrency special because the qyc was not is not so so welcome between the cryptocurrencies users and adapters so the regulatory must be very carefully because what they do for the digital dollar may be this can this can reflect to the cryptocurrency market the technology behind of this us digital dollar must be very very strong otherwise you you'll be affected by cyber attacks a lot and like i said the lack of privacy of the transactions can put the project in risk because the low rate of engagement so today we know that the all the digital transactions are not traceable if you are using cryptocurrency but if if it is from the government so it must be traceable so in the website digitaldollarproject.org we can see that all the digital transactions will be traceable with the US dollar, like debit card and, and credit card transactions. So 
let's see the engagement for that. Uh, the other facts could be like the, the delay of the engagement and because the internet access is not good for mo for many part of the US today. So 20% of the US population doesn't have smartphones and only 70% have a good broadband internet access. So these things must be changed. We know that many parts of the world has been adopted like an open run network deployment to, to have access to more people, low class uh, people that doesn't have money to pay a better phone or a better internet. And we see a lot of places in the world where Facebook, Google, Amazon, they are investing a lot in some low cost platforms and low cost networks to give access to the internet for for more people, more people, more users. So that will be the same thing for fintechs. So as soon as the fintechs getting money from, from the market, they will start to install or incentive some uh, deployment in many parts in the world to have that people that doesn't have access to the banks or even to a phone, even both, because one depends on the other. So this is a possible failure points for, for the US digital dollar too, even here in the US. Bank account runs because of fear. Well, when the dollar becomes digital, maybe some people want to go to the bank and take, take the money out like an actual bill. And they, this can be a problem in my point of view, because if every American or every person in the world try to get like $100 bill from the bank, this will be a disaster. So this is one point that I, I point like a possible failure. <laughs> well, we see that, I see that the US digital dollar steps for a successful deployment have to have a very strong regulatory plan. You have to have a political engagement and support. You have to have a government working with universities and, and companies to prove the technology and to improve the technology. And of course, it's an implementation large, in a large scale. And to have success, it has to have a massive adoption by the population and the partners' countries too. So, despite all those barriers that I pointed here, I think the digital dollar is, is one-way path. There is no, there is no back. Why? Because the Americans, they are, they are urged to have something like a digital currency. We are already work with digital banks, with our apps, working with, the, with banks. We, we just see our figures there. Most of the population are not dealing with money anymore. So the usage with uh, the usage of uh, the money in paper is dropped down a lot over the years because now we can transfer money from our apps and the digital dollar is one way path. There's no no way to come back. 
So the American government, together with universities and companies, like I said, needs to apply the technology, test it, this technology, and help the law writers to, to make the necessary and the right regulations for that. With all this done, so we will attract the engagement of the society. Even the legacy financial systems will use the US dollar, digital dollar. And then we have the massive adoptions and for the country and for the other the partners around the world. So this presentation doesn't affect the US dollar path, <laughs> the road, it does show the, my, my point of view. And um, there are a lot of materials, even, for the, even from the government that you can study. Some of them are in the presentation down there. And um, again, I appreciate your time and thank you for watching my presentation. Bye-bye.